All right, with this forecast video update on this Tuesday, December the 29th, this is the evening edition. I am Josh Brown. I hope that you guys had a great Tuesday, and it's been a pleasant day across Central Florida, I have to say. We saw temperatures for some, some for some of you in the 70s and others in the 60s. We'll look at the uh, high temperatures uh, here in just a minute, but the warming trend will continue as we hand it to the rest of this work week to end 2020, but we'll be tracking our next uh, system by the for, by the the upcoming weekend, at least to start off 2021. That could bring us a better chance for some rain ahead of a front. So we'll, I'll talk more about that here in just a little bit. But uh, first things first, here's the, here's the uh, high temperatures we saw today in central Florida. And uh, as you can see, we mostly saw some low 70s here in Orlando. Same thing for you folks back over towards Titusville. Also for Daytona Beach and Ocala. Farther south you go into Kissimmee and Lakeland, it seems like temperatures only hit mid-70s this afternoon. And uh, farther north you go from the villages, Sanford and Palm Coast, temperatures uh, only uh, saw mid to upper 60, 60s uh, earlier this afternoon as well. So for those of you that maybe yeah, might have been outside and did, and did some uh, fun outdoor activities, I hope that you uh, did enjoy these uh, perfect uh, conditions. But again, it's going to it's going to get even more warmer as we head towards the rest of this work week, and you'll see that on the high temperatures on Featurecast, and of course on the GFS in just a little, a little bit. But if we go ahead and take a look at our temperatures right now, currently in Central Florida, since the sun is down, it's looking a little cooler out there. So as you can see, everybody across most of Central Florida are sitting in the low to middle 60s. So if you have, if you got uh, any plans this evening, uh, just take a light jacket. But other than that, no big deal. As uh, uh, as conditions are looking perfect out there. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at uh, Futurecast and, and show you what we're expecting as far as highs go for the next couple of, uh, couple of days as we finish the rest of 2020. And before we get started with Futurecast, remember if you're just uh, coming into Facebook Live on this uh, Tuesday night, remember don't forget to uh, go ahead as always, like I've been saying many times, to share this feed to your other Facebook followers, because remember, uh, Mamado is sharing is caring. And before we also get started, I'm going to go ahead and share this feed to one of my other pages. So hang on just a minute, and we'll get started with the timing of these uh, more temperatures, warmer temperatures, as a matter of fact, on Featurecast. All right, so here is Futurecast once again. So as we get through the overnight hours and perhaps into the first half of your Wednesday, we'll start off there with morning glow temperatures in the mid to upper 50s, especially in our inland, inland communities, but farther east you go over towards I-95. So if you live in Titusville, Daytona Beach, and Palm Coast, it looks like you could start off with mostly some mid-60s uh, to start off our Wednesday. So looking pretty good uh, to start off the middle of the work week. So the only thing you may need as you head out the door is just take a jacket. And then as we head into tomorrow afternoon, we'll click, we will quickly warm up into the mid-70s across central Florida. So, for example, here in Orlando, we'll hit a high temperature tomorrow afternoon at about 76 degrees. Same thing for you folks down in Lakeland. 75 could be the high temperature tomorrow in Kissimmee. And that goes for the same thing for you folks in the villages in Ocala. And perhaps some lower 70s up around Palm Coast. And could see a high at 73 in Daytona Beach and 74 for the high in the afternoon tomorrow in Titusville. So, so perfect. So another perfect day tomorrow to do some uh, fun act, at least some fun activities outdoors if you have some uh, planned. And yes, we're expecting another round of some sunshine also. And then as we head into evening, so after the sun sets, we'll see temperatures uh, cool off briefly from 70s down into the mid to upper 60s. So if we got plans then, again, just take a light jacket. But other than that, no big deal. And as we head into late tomorrow night and even into the first half of the day on your Thursday, the morning of New, Year, of New Year's Eve, we're expecting temperatures to uh, start off with maybe some 50s, especially from around Ocala. Others uh, in the low to mid-60s, so looking a little bit cooler to start off again the, uh, the day on New Year's Eve. And then as we head into the second half of the day of New Year's Eve, you're gonna be, if you're going to be out and about doing some uh, 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 doing some 
outdoor fun activities. It looks like we'll see temperatures warm up into not just 70s, but some may hit maybe some low 80s by Thursday afternoon. So, for example, here in Orlando, we may hit a high temperature at 81 on New Year's Eve. Could see a high at 80 for both uh, Stanford and Kissimmee and others remaining in the upper 70s. So it could be, it could be really a warm day uh, for at least to end 2020 here across central Florida. And then as we head into the evening hours, if you're going to be uh, maybe spending with your small group of, group of friends or families outdoors after the sun sets, it seems like we'll see temperatures cool off into the lower 70s and upper 60s. So, so staying mild uh, as we head towards uh, Thursday night. And then as we end the clock all the way towards 1 a.m. past midnight as we start off 2021 then as temperatures get down into the mid-60s. So it looks like New Year's forecast looks to be pretty good, both on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. But of course, we'll take a look at the New Year's Day forecast uh, in just a second as we transition from Barron into the GFS. But before we do that, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the current radar and see what's going on this evening in central Florida. And uh, right now we are looking relatively quiet. So again, I don't, I don't, I don't anticipate any rain to happen in central Florida in the next uh, few days. So now to the GFS. So let's get into New Year's Day, which is this Friday. And of course, it will be also the first day for January. So if we got some plants on New Year's Day, it looks like we'll be mostly, uh, mostly dry for most of us, but I can't rule out maybe a few isolated coastal showers, mainly just along the coast of Volusia and Brevard counties. But other than that, no big deal. And as you can see, we'll be tracking our next system, though, that's going to be bringing some rain across portions of the Mississippi Valley region and perhaps into the western part of the Florida Panhandle that could bring maybe some strong to severe storms. So that is something we'll watch carefully. But it's not going to approach Florida, at least, at least as we get into a Saturday, which we'll see that in just a minute. But just for the most part, just enjoy another nice day on Friday to kick off the new year. And as we check in with our high temperatures, and it looks like we'll see another warm day with maybe some upper 70s and perhaps lower 80s. So warm conditions will continue, not just for New Year's Eve, but into New Year's Day. So if we got some big plans outdoors for the, for the start of 2021, it looks like you are good to go. But with the system, as you can see, they'll be bringing some rain across the Mississippi Valley region. That could be ahead of another cold front that could try to swing in from north to south. They'll cool down temperatures. Uh, in and around Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia. And again, that could head into our direction by the upcoming weekend, which you'll see that uh, right now. <clears throat> so here is Saturday. And uh, it looks like as of right now, according to the GFS, it doesn't show a whole lot of rain in central Florida. But still, there'll be, there'll be a chance for maybe some showers and maybe a couple of thunder showers around, at least maybe late in the day on Saturday. Right now, the GFS is printing out the best chance of rain staying to the north and west of our viewing area. So basically from, uh, let's say, Tallahassee to Panama City Beach, all the way up towards Valdosta, Georgia, could see one to three inches of rain with these storms ahead of that uh, next cold front as we approach that day. And as we check in with our high temperatures, and it seems like we'll be looking uh, mostly throughout the day on Saturday warmer with maybe some upper 70s and lower 80s before the front does move in. But behind the cold front, which will be just to the north and west of where we live, that's going to knock down temperatures from 80s and 70s down into the 50s and 60s across the Mississippi Valley region. So we'll be again, we'll be tracking that system carefully in the next coming days as it gets closer by uh, the first weekend of the new year. So as we get into Sunday, and right now the GFS is showing that the best chance of rain may hold off until at least Sunday. So instead of seeing rain on Saturday, that's when we could see maybe some showers and a couple of storms, but I don't anticipate for this to be an all-day event. So just be aware that you may need to, uh, like, have a poncho uh, if you're going to be out and about. But, again, it's not going to be a, a, a total washout, so just note that. But we'll call for about a 40% coverage of rain as we head towards Sunday. Right now, the, uh, the best chance of, of seeing some heaviest rain will be staying to the north again from portions of the Panhandle all the way up towards Charleston, South Carolina, <clears throat> as that uh, front gets closer. And as we check in with our high temperatures, and it looks like uh, the cold front should be passing through central Florida uh, by Sunday afternoon as we get down from 80s down into the 60s. So we turn cooler again by uh, the second half of the upcoming weekend. 
So it looks like it may need to have may need to have those jackets uh, uh, bundled pretty handy if you're going to be outdoors as well by that day. But farther north to go, it seems like temperatures could get down not just much cooler, but perhaps a bit chilly with some 40s and 50s across the Mississippi Valley region. But if we take a look at the low temperatures for next Monday morning, the good news is I don't see any signs of 30s to worry about, which is a good sign. So instead of seeing 30s for Central Florida, we'll start off with 40s behind the next front again by early Monday morning. So it looks like the 30s are going to stay north where, where it could be low temperatures across portions of the Mississippi Valley region. So, so there you have it there. And after that, after a rainy weekend, at least portions of the weekend, I guess you could call it, and right, and right after the front passes through, it looks like we'll see plenty of clearing and we'll see lots of sunshine in Central Florida, in Central Florida to kick off the work week next week. And as we take a look at our high temperatures, and as you can see, we remain cool with maybe some upper 50s, especially if you live in the villages in Ocala and other places maybe only getting into the low to mid 60s. So it's not just Sunday we'll see cooler temperatures, but that could continue behind the next upcoming front on Monday afternoon. So it looks like you may need, may need to have those uh, long clothes uh, bundled, bundled with handy along with that light jacket if you're going to be outdoors that day. <clears throat> but as far as chilly temperatures go for Tuesday morning, this is the 5th, it seems like we could see temperatures again starting off in the 40s, so no 30s to worry about. That's going to stay north. So as you can see from Jackson to Birmingham and Atlanta, that's where those temperatures could, could drop below 40 degrees for the lows early next Tuesday morning, but for us, we'll just be above 40, so it'll just be just a chilly start here in the Sunshine State. And then as we head into the second half of the day of next Tuesday, it looks like we'll again be dry with lots of sunshine, and uh, temperatures below that for highs looks to be more like this. As we stay on the cooler side with maybe some mid to upper 60s, especially if we go maybe from Orlando south and perhaps low 60s north, so it'll just be another cool day here by early next week, not just for Monday, but into Tuesday. So we can handle it. We can handle that. <clears throat> All right, heading into the middle of next week. This is for Wednesday, January 6th, and it looks like we may see a few showers that could try to sneak into portions of central Florida from the Atlantic. And it does show that... Uh, uh, that portions of Volusia, Brevard, and Osceola counties can see about a 30% coverage of a few isolated spottier showers by Wednesday afternoon. Not tomorrow, but next week. But others could stay dry as far as the weather goes. So we'll see. And temperatures for that day it looks to be uh, starting to warm up, warm up just a few degrees above normal, but still looking a bit cooler as we stay mostly in the upper 60s. But some could float around 70 for the high temperature by midweek next week. So, uh, so we'll see. But other than that, it's not too bad. I guess I guess the highest uh, the highest chance to see temperatures in the seventies will be farther south to go into the southern part of of the uh, peninsula. So a bit warmer down there. But for us, let's just be on the cooler side. And as we head into the to the end of next week, this is uh, Thursday, January seventh, and right now it looks like we could still see some more showers to deal with here in Central Florida. So we'll call for about maybe a 30 to a 40% coverage of, of some rain showers to do with here in, in the viewing area, especially if we go from Orlando south. But I don't think, I don't think this is going to be an all-day event as we approach that day. And as we check in with our high temperatures, it looks like we will stay, again, a little cooler as we remain in the 60s. But some, again, could flirt 70, especially if we go west of I-4. But it looks like the highest... A uh, chance to see temperatures in the 70s for highs uh, by next Thursday looks to be staying right along the I-75 corridor, basically near Tampa and all the way down towards southern Florida. So that's where the 70s will be that day. But for us, we'll just be in the 60s since we'll have to maintain a chance, a chance for a few showers. So I'll keep you all posted, but you know it could change once we get closer since we're still about a week away. Now, heading into Friday of next week, this is for January 8th, and right now it looks like we could see just about a 30% shot of a couple of showers possible if the GFS is right, but again, I don't expect for this to be an all-day event, so some of you can see a few showers, some others may not, 
So, so that's what we'll call that's what we'll call for it that day. And uh, temperatures for highs will start to even warm back uh, to where it should be, mostly for the winter uh, during the winter times. But again, we still get cold snaps, so just keep that in mind. So we'll see temperatures get back into the mid to upper 70s. Maybe some could flirt, maybe almost near 80 for the high temperature by the end of next week. So, so looking, uh, looking better as we approach that day. But again, we're still about a week away, so not as well it could change. All right, as we enter land of voodoo country, this is taking you to Saturday, January 9th. And right now it looks like we could see... Again, just a couple of one or two uh, spotty showers possible will call for about a 20% uh, coverage, but other than that, it looks like we'll remain partly sunny. But there might be another system that may try to develop across the portions of the Mississippi Valley region that could give another shot of some rain, and that could be head of another cold front. So that's something we'll have to watch closely. And as we check in with our high temperatures, and it seems like we'll be looking again, uh, mostly just average, with with uh, temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. Some may hit 80 as we approach uh, uh, the 9th. But with that cold front, they'll try to slide in from north to south. That's going to bring temperatures cooler uh, behind it with maybe some 50s to near 60s, especially around Birmingham and Jackson, Mississippi. So something to watch. But again, this is still, you know, about a week away or almost two weeks, maybe I should say. So, it, you know, changes could be could be made, I should say, as we get closer. All right, now heading into Sunday, January 10th, and right now we'll keep the weather dry in central Florida with lots of more sunshine as the uh, uh, second system stays up to the north, bringing a, a good chance for some showers maybe across portions of the Mississippi Valley region ahead again of another front. Temperatures below that looks to be Again, for us, uh, staying warm with mid to upper 70s to about near 80. So not too bad as we get into that uh, weekend of January. But all the coolness is going to stay north with temperatures behind the second front with maybe some 40s and 50s. So uh, so like I said, we're in land of fooder country. So, so, it, so it could really change as we get closer. So just keep checking back with me here on Facebook Live for any upcoming changes as we get closer to mid-January. And here is Monday, January the 11th, and it looks like we'll maintain a chance for some showers to sneak back into the peninsula, including right here in central Florida. So we'll call for about a 20 to a 30 percent shot of a couple of showers on Monday ahead of that uh, stronger system with that cold front that could bring a good chance for some showers and perhaps maybe if not some thunderstorms across the Mississippi Valley region. And uh, high temperatures below that for us looks to be, again, much warmer with upper 70s and even some other places in the lower 80s, so looking uh, perfect as we head towards that day. And it looks like the second cold front may start to uh, fall apart, is what it seems like on the GFS, so that's going to keep the cooler weather just north of where we live with 50s and 60s. So again, we'll have to wait and see because this is two weeks away and this could likely change. And here is two weeks from today. This is for Tuesday, January 12th. And right now it looks like uh, the system will bring still, you know, another round of some showers in central Florida. So we'll call for about a 30% shot. Right now the highest chance of rain looks to be staying up north across the Panhandle in the Mississippi Valley region. And as far as the high temperatures go for that day, right now it looks like we'll be still on the warmer category with mostly in the 70s and 80s as the front tries to get closer to where we live. But as you can see behind it, that's going to knock down temperatures cooler from 80s and 70s down into the 60s and 50s across the Florida Panhandle. But farther north you go, it looks like temperatures could even drop down chilly with some 40s and 50s uh, also for highs. And once that uh, front passes through by the morning of the 13th, it looks like we could start off cooler with some upper 40s and low 50s. So no uh, so no cold snaps as of now, but we'll see. And after a chilly start, and once that front passes through uh, by the 13th, it looks like behind it we'll see mostly just a few leftover showers, otherwise clear. And uh, temperatures below that looks to be a little bit cooler. So it looks like the uh, second front appears to be weaker than strong, but mostly 
uh, upper 60s and low 70s, which we can handle it. So, so we'll have to wait and see what happens. But it's just still too early to tell. And as we check in with the temperatures for the morning of the 14th, this is for lows, and it looks like we'll be looking much cooler. So no cold snaps behind cold front number two with mostly just 50s to near 60s. So all this cold temperature is going to stay farther up north with 30s and 40s in and around the Mississippi Valley region. And as we check in with the uh, later part of the day of the 14th, as we uh, end this, we'll be dealing with... Uh, with uh, Another round of some sunshine, so no rain to worry about by the second half of the day of the 14th. And as we finally check with the high temperatures, we will be a little cooler with mostly upper 60s and low 70s. So there you all have it. All right, I'm going to start wrapping up this uh, Facebook Live feed on this Tuesday night. So that's it for the forecast video update. And again, I'll be back here tomorrow night for another live update here on Facebook, same time between 8 and 8.30. And I'll continue, as always, by posting my notes or updates on my blog and Facebook pages 24-7. But in the meantime, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Tuesday night. Please remember remember to take care of yourselves and each other. And, uh, and yeah, uh, I'll see you all tomorrow night, and God bless you all.